Better slow down, baby, soon It's all or nothing to Hey guys, it's Dave Trant here and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play My Eyes by The Lumineers. Now this is probably my favorite track off their new album and it's absolutely gorgeous. So it's uh, worth a shot learning on acoustic. So for the basics, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you'll need a capo on the fourth fret. Now there's four chord shapes you'll need to know for this song. If you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com and pick up my free guitar ebook. Okay, so the four main chord shapes you'll need for this song are G, E minor, C, and A7. There's a few other chords that we'll need to know, but we'll learn them down the track because they're not quite your standard everyday chords. They're a bit strange, so I'll explain them later. So for the intro and the verse, we have a four chord progression that goes like this. G, E minor, C, and back to G. So overall this song is in 3-4 time. It's got a sort of a waltz feel to it. It'll sound like this. 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3. That's the sort of count that we're going to have. And we're going to play a strumming pattern that suits that. So throughout the song you'll just be doing a 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, down, 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 strumming pattern. So that's pretty easy. Now one thing you want to ensure though is that you accent the fourth down strum in that small strumming pattern that we just learnt. So it'll be one, two, three, two, two, three. So where that fourth down strum is basically, you want to always accent that one. For each chord we'll have that strumming pattern twice for this intro and verse. So all together it'll sound like this. One, two, three. So just to recap, that strumming pattern is one, two, three, two, two, three. And you're gonna accent all the strings on that fourth down strum. For all the other notes, you should just really be concentrating on the bass notes of each chord. If you listen to the song, the picking is very light. Uh, and, and as I mentioned before, he only really accents on those particular beats that I taught you. So I'll just play that intro slash verse again. One, two, three, two, two. So in the intro, there's actually a little variation to that chord progression that you can play. This is optional. If you don't think you can do it, then don't worry about it. Just play it the way that I just did then. But if you're up to the challenge and you can do this and it sounds really great. I'm going to play this variation first so you can hear what it sounds like and then I'll teach you. Okay, so the last three down strums of the G, E minor, and C have this little variation. So it's the last three down strums. So for these three strums, you're going to want to concentrate on hitting the fifth, fourth, and third strings. Just those ones. It doesn't matter if you hit the others, but you want to concentrate on the fifth, fourth, and third strings when you're strumming this. All right. So the first strum is going to be normal, just the chord by itself. The second out of these last three strums, you're going to take your index finger off this G chord and you're going to put it on the second fret of the third string. So, first strum of the last three, second strum of the last three, and finally the last strum of the last three strums is just going to be completely open. And you're just going to hit the fifth, fourth and third. Doesn't matter if you hit the second either, but just try to concentrate on them. So, like that. So, all together, that first G chord sounds like this. One, two, three, two, two, three. 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 
And now when we get to the E minor, the last three strums of that chord is going to be similar. So you're going to be concentrating on those same middle strings when you're strumming, right? So the first strum is just E minor normal by itself. And then the second strum of the last three strums, you're going to take your pinky finger and push down on the second fret of the third string. And then again, for the last of the three strums, you lift everything off and it's just open. So it sounds like this. And one more time. And all together that E minor will sound like... One, two, three. And finally, with the C, we do the exact same thing, basically. So the last three down strums, the first one is going to be just the C normal. And again, you're going to be concentrating on those same middle strings. The second of the last three down strums, you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to put it on the second fret of the third string. You're going to so move it down one string, basically. So... And then the last of the three strums, again, you lift everything off and then you're just hitting the middle strings open. So, like that. So, all together, the C will sound like one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. And finally, the last G doesn't have any embellishments to it, it's just played the first way I taught you, which is just one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. So all together, this fancy intro will sound something like this. And that's it for the fancy intro. Okay, so now we get to the verse. So I've already taught you the first line of this verse, which is the G, E minor, C, and to the G. Now the second line of chords in this verse changes up a little, and it goes G, E minor, C, A7, and then C again. Now there's two strumming patterns for the G, E minor. There's one strumming pattern for the C and the A7. And finally, the last C has two strumming patterns again. Each strumming pattern is down, 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 or one, two, three, two, two, three. So all together, the entire verse will sound something like this. And that's it for the verse. Okay, so now we get to the chorus and there's three lines of chords that we need to learn here. All right, so we'll concentrate on the first two. So the first line of chords goes E minor, and then we have a chord called a D sharp augmented, all right? So from your E minor position, all you'll do is take your index finger and put it on the first fret of the fourth string. And you're gonna be only hitting three strings with this chord. So you're going to be hitting the 4th string, 3rd string, and 2nd string. Like that. So that's our D sharp augmented, right? So E minor to D sharp augmented. Even with this E minor, you only want to be hitting the 4th string, 3rd string, and 2nd string, alright? So that's our first line of chords. E minor, D sharp augmented. Our second line of chords goes C and then G. So that's nice and easy. Now in terms of strumming pattern, we're gonna have the same thing. We're gonna have all down strums on the beat. So one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. Okay? So our first chord, the E minor, is going to have only three down strums. So one, two, three. And what you wanna do is you wanna hit the first bass note and then D 
down strum the second two. Of course, you can just strum all three if you want, but this is more close to how he plays it. So usually hits the fourth string and then down strums the other two strings. So one, two, three, or you can just go one, two, three, up to you, but one, two, three sounds better. So fourth string and then hitting the other two strings for the other strums. So that E minor is hit for one set of three and the D sharp augmented is hit for three sets of three strums. So one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, just like that. And one more time. One, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. And our second line of chords, the C to the G, is pretty similar. So when you go to the C, it's recommended that you hit the bass note and then strum the higher strings for your other two strums. The C is played for one set of three strums and the G is played for three sets of three strums. So it's one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. And altogether, those first two lines are repeated three times. So altogether, it'll sound like this. One, two, And that's it for the first two lines. Just to recap, the E minor is played for one set of three strums. The D sharp augmented is played for three sets of three strums. The C is played for one set of three strums. And the G is played for three sets of three strums. And then you repeat that over three times. Now the last line of chords go something like this. You got E minor, and then you go to D sharp augmented. Then our next chord is going to be a G slash D. So what that is, is just gonna be basically everything open. You're gonna be hitting your fourth string, third string, and second string. So that's G slash D. You don't wanna be hitting any other strings for that chord. And then our fourth chord is just going to be our ring finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string relative to the capo. You wanna mute the fourth string with your middle finger by just lightly resting on top. So you're hitting the fifth string and your third and second string. That's all you're hitting. Fifth, third, and second. And the fourth is muted with your middle finger. So that's the fourth chord. We're just gonna call that C sharp because the name of that chord is actually really way too long. And the final chord we're gonna hit in this line of chords is just C. Now those first four chords are gonna be hit with one set of three strums. So it'll sound like this. One, two, three. And you just hit that C with one strum. You don't keep strumming. And one more time. And that's it for the chorus. That's the last line of the chorus. So I'm just gonna play the chorus all the way through. And that's it for the chorus. Now the second verse is the same as the first verse. The second chorus the same as the first chorus. After the second chorus, you're just gonna be playing the verse chords again, and then you go into one final third chorus. Now the third chorus is exactly the same as the other two choruses with one minor difference. So for the third chorus, it's gonna go like this. You're gonna go E minor, D sharp augmented, C to G, and you're gonna repeat that twice. And then the third time around, you're gonna go E minor, and then instead of going to a D sharp augmented, you're gonna replace that with an A7, all right? 
And that's the only change you make. The D sharp augmented is replaced with an A7. You still go to the C and the G. And then the last line of chords there is exactly the same as it originally is in the other two choruses. So the third chorus will sound something like this instead. And that's everything for My Eyes by The Lumineers. It's a really great song. Um, so make sure you check out my tab for it in the link below to follow along. But anyway, now I'm going to be playing the intro, verse and chorus. And I'm going to be attempting to sing along. But uh, don't mind my singing. It's just there for some context so you know where you are in the song. So thanks for watching guys, that's all for My Eyes by The Lumineers, a really great song, probably my favourite of this new album. Make sure you pick up my free guitar ebook at guitarzerotohero.com. If you've enjoyed this and want to see more in the future, then please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave your thoughts, comments and questions below, and I'll see you next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.